Hey, what's up guys? It's Beja at Baker Hill Farm. Today I have a super fun video. Um, it's fun for me because I love to cook in the kitchen. We make all of our meals here at home from scratch. And this is something that I think you'll use a lot throughout the holidays. And that is a dry mix cream of mushroom or cream of chicken soup. So this is just a cream of base and you can use it you can you know season it up to your preference for all of your holiday baking so if you've ever looked at the back of a cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup you know there's all kind of ingredients in there that probably aren't great for our body usually if i can't pronounce it real well or i can't grow it i don't always want to consume it or if i can't get it from a cow you know if the process of, if me understanding where it came from, if that process is a little bit too difficult, then I don't know that I wanna put it in my body. Of course, that doesn't go for everything, but you get the idea. So today we are going to make cream of whatever mix for you to keep in your pantry. You'll scoop it out, put it in your pot with some liquid and then warm it in your pan and essentially create a gravy. Because really, all that that cream of whatever soup is, is a flavored gravy. So if you know how to make gravy, then great, you're, you know how to make cream of, insert your flavor, soup. But it is nice convenience wise to just have a mix on your shelf that's already pre-seasoned that you can use. So that's what we're gonna do today. And our base is gonna be a milk powder. Now I have here, this is from Azure um, because I trust their company. I trust the milk powder that they're putting out and this is just a instant milk powder, okay? The other ingredient you're gonna need is cornstarch and you can get organic cornstarch through Azure as well. I do not have any with me. I'm still waiting on my order. So I just have this um, cornstarch from the grocery store and the ingredient is cornstarch. So may not be organic, but it's just cornstarch. So I'm fine with that. And then you're gonna need some seasoning. So if you know me, I like black pepper. So you've gotta have your black pepper. I have all of my spices are in these like Sam's containers, but they have been refilled. I just reuse them over and over and over again. And then you'll need parsley. You'll need some sea salt onion powder, and then you're gonna need garlic powder. Now I don't have any garlic powder, but I do have some freeze dried garlic for my friend that has a freeze dryer. And guys, I just put this in my mortar and pestle and you get perfect garlic powder. Okay, so I am going to bring the camera down so you can see everything I'm doing very easily. And I'm gonna walk you through all of the ingredients so you can make your very own cream of instant powder. I don't know what I'm going to name this video, guys. How to make your own cream of blank? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we're starting out now. We are starting with our milk powder. That is our base, and you're going to need two cups of this, okay? I'm using a half cup measure. I'm going to do two cups, so half one and I'm putting all of this in a wide mouth quart jar just for easier scooping in the future so the point of this recipe is for it to be about equivalent to um, one can of cream of whatever soup. Okay, and the next thing you want is your cornstarch. You are gonna need about three fourths a cup of this. If you've ever worked with cornstarch, you know it just flies everywhere, so. So there's half a cup, roughly. Well, I need a new container. Okay, so I've got my new container out. <laughs> it says no mess. That is so funny. Okay. Oop, 
Yep, no mess is right, right? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay, so that's about a fourth of a cup and I had a half a cup in there, so three fourths, three fourths cup of cornstarch. And before I add all my seasonings, I'm gonna try to whisk this through. You know what, I might need to put this in a bowl and whisk it and then funnel it back in here. Oh, well no, it's mixing pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll put it in a bowl though. Can you grab me a bowl? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of my ingredients in here, then I'll put it in a bowl and whisk it and transfer it back in here. I'm just gonna put everything in here in this because you can see it. Okay, the next thing you want is actually a teaspoon and a half of onion powder, okay? And I'll have all of these measurements over on the blog. Then we want two teaspoons, two teaspoons of parsley. One, two. All right, and then one teaspoon of black pepper. Now, if you are not crazy about black pepper, Can you get one a little bit bigger? Like I am, if you just don't just love it, then you can do like, I don't know, half a teaspoon. But I really like black pepper in my gravy. And one teaspoon isn't that much for all of this because this is a lot. So I'm actually gonna do one and a half teaspoons of salt. And for whatever your recipe is, you may need to add more salt depending on um, how it tastes. Thank you. You're welcome. And then we need our garlic powder. You need half to one teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'm just going to take four cloves and see how much that gives me. probably gave me about a half a teaspoon or a little less. So I'm just gonna add a two or three more. Yeah, we'll just do two more. And add that in. And I had a tiny helper bring me a glass bowl. <laughs> probably should have used this from the get-go. But I'm just gonna whisk this and then funnel it back in to my jar. Let me turn the fan off. This is what it should look like, just speckled. See, it's not even much pepper at all. So I would definitely stay with the one teaspoon because I know when I actually use this mixture, I'm gonna add more pepper. Cause I just like it. Okay, and now I'm gonna scoop this back into my jar. And then we'll label it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's just, I don't know if you can tell, just lightly seasoned in there. And this is how you're gonna use this. So you're gonna scoop one third cup, okay? So I'm writing it on my jar, one third cup plus one to one and a half cups. I'm writing it all across the side of this jar. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so here we go. You take one third cup of this mixture and add it to in between one and one and a half cups of liquid. So you can do broth, you can do water, you could do milk, I guess, but remember this is a milk powder, so it's already milk-based. So I will probably use water 
just to save resources. Um, and it's gonna be just as delicious because it's a milk powder, so it's be gonna be super flavorful. So I hope you guys found that to be informative. This is such an easy recipe. Um, it's just so handy to have in your kitchen. You could even give this away as gifts this season. Um, maybe you have some home cooks who you know use that preservative ridden cream of whatever soup and you wanna give them something useful and a little bit healthier. This would be such a sweet idea. Um, you could just put it in a cute little jar Maybe even split this between two people and do pints and wrap um, a little bit of twine with the gift tag with the instructions and what it is. That would be super cute and a really useful gift. So I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe. Um, go over to BakerHillFarm.com to get this full written recipe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.